Good morning, happy Thursday. It is a total body strength um, coming on up. Um, so today we got a total body workout, obviously. Um, we're gonna do three rounds, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest slash transition time. Um, we do need at least one set of dumbbells, um, if not two, if you have them. Um, but I would like us today if we have the option to go a little bit heavier, I'd like us to do that. Um, really wanna push ourselves this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started real quick with our demos and then we'll get into the uh, workout. So starting off, we're gonna do some seated overhead presses. So we're gonna sit on the ground. Our legs are gonna be straight out in front. And so when we're sitting like this, we're gonna grab our dumbbells. I don't know what's going on with my computer angle, there we go. Um, so we're gonna have our dumbbells here keeping that core nice and tight, legs straight out in front, all the way up and back down, keeping those elbows slightly below the shoulders. Again, keeping that core nice and tight. Um, so that way we're not arching the back. So that one's really gonna focus on the shoulders. We're taking the legs out of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. So keeping our dumbbells here, we're gonna step back, knee over the second toe, push the ground away. Standing back up, making sure we're driving through that front heel, filling it in the glutes. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and do some bent over rows. So we're gonna have our feet hip width apart here. We're gonna push our hips back like we're closing a door. Hands are gonna stay outside of our legs. So they're here, coming all the way up the side of our quads here. Drive the elbows up and back down. So that's gonna be our bent over row. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some alternating curtsy lunges. So we're gonna have, starting with one leg, whichever leg you wanna start with, going back behind diagonal, knee over the second toe, hips forward, push the ground away, and then the other side. So that's gonna be our next movement. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and lay on the ground and we're gonna do um, some toe touches first. So we'll have our feet, in the air, you can have one dumbbell, two dumbbells, no dumbbells, whatever feels good. We're gonna brace the core here. So tucking that pelvis in, butt to belly button and exhale, come up, touch the toes and back down. So it's gonna be our fifth movement. And then finally, we're gonna end off with some single leg lowering here. So we're gonna flex those feet, one leg at a time, come down, exhale, use the core, come up. We're zipping that core up. We got a string, pulling the leg back up. So that is going to be our full circuit for today. So we're gonna go ahead and start off um, with our warm up, And we're gonna be on the ground here in a half kneeling position. So one knee on the ground, one foot on the ground. And we're gonna do two um, hip flexor hamstring on each side. So we're gonna tuck our pelvis, we're gonna squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground. We're gonna push those hips forward. We're gonna take a nice big deep breath into the belly. And we're gonna exhale, rock our hips back, chest towards the knee, toes towards the ceiling. Breathing into the tightness. We're gonna take a big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, coming back forward. So again, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glute, and push those hips forward, really keeping that glute squeezed. We're gonna take a big deep belly breath. And we're exhaling, rocking the hips back, toes to the ceiling, chest towards the knee. And opening up the back of the leg here. Nice, big, deep breath. And we're gonna go ahead and exhale and come out of that. And then we'll go ahead and switch sides. So opposite knee and opposite foot. We have our same checklist here. So butt to belly button, we're squeezing the glute and we're bringing those hips forward really opening up the front of the hip. We're gonna take a nice big deep belly breath. And exhale, rock the hips back, toes to the ceiling, chest towards the knee. The more the toes are pointed up, the more we are gonna feel that in the calf. So it's really gonna open up the whole um, backside here. Nice big deep breath. And exhaling, rocking back forward. So this will be our last one here. So tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glute, and push those hips forward, keeping our chest nice and tall here. 
Nice big deep belly breath. And exhale, rock the hips back. Bringing that chest down a little bit lower, really opening up the back of the legs here. We'll take a big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale and come out of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and be on our hands and knees here. And we're gonna do a couple reach through rotations here. So we're gonna take one hand, we're gonna inhale, reach through in between our opposite arm, opposite leg. And we're gonna exhale, opening up towards the ceiling. And we're reaching through, inhaling. And exhaling, opening up. And we're gonna do one more, reaching through. And exhaling, opening up. And then we can go ahead and plant that hand back up underneath our shoulder. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So inhaling, reaching through, exhaling, opening up. And we're reaching through and exhaling, opening up. And last one, reaching through and opening up. Then we can go ahead and plant that hand back up underneath the shoulder. We are ready to rock and roll. So get it ready. We're starting on the ground. We're gonna sit down, legs straight out in front, grabbing our dumbbells. We're doing a seated overhead press. We're gonna get the timer going here in three, two, one, and go. Got both our dumbbells. And like I said, legs are straight out in front. So we do, we are gonna feel this a lot in the core. So really bringing our belly button towards the spine pulling our ribs down and together like we're breathing through a straw and then our hands at the bottom are slightly above the shoulders elbows are also slightly out in front exhaling as we press up it's going to help us brace the core and also get a little bit of help a little bit more extra oomph from the muscles here three two one. Awesome. All right. Next up, we have alternating reverse lunges. So we're going to start in the top of our space. Keeping our dumbbells here, getting ready. Three, two, one. So we're stepping back. Our knee is coming right over the second toe. Chest is staying over the arch of the front foot. We're acting like we are squeezing an orange or cracking an egg between our shoulders. So that way we're nice and flat on the back. Core is still engaged and it does help. Like every, um, anytime we're really pushing anything away from us is when we wanna exhale. So we're coming here, push the ground away. That's when we wanna exhale because that's gonna again help engage those muscles and the core. Great job. Three, two, one. All right, next up we have bent over rows. Um, so we're gonna keep our hands outside of our legs the whole time. Getting ready here. Three, two, one. So feet hip width apart, side bend of the knee, push those hips back, close the door. We're squeezing the orange between our shoulder blades. And I like to imagine that as we are pulling that hand up, so we have a piece of paper between our body and our armpit and our arm. If you wanna squeeze through the back of the armpit, don't let that paper fall. That's how we get that good engagement through our back muscles here, which is really important for posture, especially if we're sitting at the desk during the day. We're gonna drive the elbows back, act like we're breaking some glass that's laying across our back. Three, two, one. All right, great job. Next up, we have curtsy lunges. So we're stepping back behind in diagonal. Getting ready here. Three, two, one. So back behind diagonal, making sure that when we step back, our hips are forward. So if you aren't sure, so if you feel like you're open a little bit, just twist those hips around. Headlights on the hips are gonna blind whatever is right in front of you. 
and making sure, just like it's the same as a reverse lunge where that knees over the second toe, chest over the arch of the front foot, but we're going to the side. Again, finding that footing as well. So if you're stepping back really far, you're gonna feel that all in your back leg when that chest is up as well. It's like all of the back quad. So find that good footing, keep that chest forward, drive through that heel big to little toe. Three, two, one. All right, on the ground, on our backs, we have toe touches and then single leg lowering. And then we'll be done with round one and we'll have two more to go. Three, two, one. So legs in the air, try and keep them as straight as we can. Exhaling as we come up. I like to take a second at the bottom of the pause to make sure we're not using momentum. And really um, exhale to bring that core together and down. And that way, we're not gonna use our head, neck, or shoulders to get up off the ground. Great job, really pushing here. Keep that core engaged. I like to engage the core, so bring it together and down, and then exhale and come up. Three, two, one. All right, so last thing here, we have single leg lowering, and then we'll um, sit on the ground for our um, presses here. All right, getting ready, three, two, one. So legs in the same position. We lower as far as we can to the ground without that low back coming off the ground. Exhale, bring the core together, pull the leg in using the core. So we got that zipper on the core. So we inhale, come down, exhale, zip the core up. So that's what's gonna help us really use the core instead of the um, hips. Another thing that helps, sometimes I do like a slight bend in my knee because that releases my quads. If I'm here, my quads are engaged and then I start to use my hips. So that could also be helpful is just remember to stay nice and loose through our quads here. Three, two, one. All right, awesome job. Round one is done. Two more to go. We got seated presses again. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Here again, elbows slightly in front. I like to make sure too that, um, so my elbows are, you know, a little bit in front, but the dumbbell is in line with my bicep here. So if my elbows are in front, my thumb, like I'm not this way, we're not straight out, we're kind of in line. So that nice 45 degree angle here. Exhaling, pressing up, using the shoulders, using the core, staying nice and balanced. Great job. Like I said, this one definitely takes away the legs, makes it a little bit harder. Three, two, one. All right. Standing on up, we have alternating reverse lunges next. So start in the top of our space here. Three, two, one. So we're stepping back, push the ground away, finding that good distance between our feet again, because if we're way out here, that's all the back leg, and not as much the front leg. So finding a good distance, drive through that front heel. We really want to feel that in the glutes. We will feel in the quads as well, but I really like that primary driver here to be the glutes when we drive through that heel. And that's where that chest angle definitely makes a difference. And if you're not feeling it where you think you should be, um, I always like to go a little bit slower to really focus on feeling it in my glutes and using my glutes here. Three, two, one. All right, next up we have bent over rows. So we're gonna have our feet hip width apart here. Keeping our shoulder blades pinched here. Three, two, one. So we got push that door closed with our butt. Again, if we have, pretend like we have that glass here, 
when we're coming up, we drive through the elbow, break that glass, squeeze through the back of the armpit. So keep that paper nice and tight to our bodies. <sighs> Exhale on this one as we drive the elbows back. That's going to again help us get that good muscle engagement. Good job. Keeping those hands outside of the legs. Three, two, one. All right, we have curtsy lunges next. So we're going back behind diagonal, headlights blind the camera. Three, two, one. So again, keeping that chest over the arch of the front foot, drive through the heel, big toe, little toe. And then again, if you're not really feeling it in the glutes, really go nice and slow. So I know for me, my right leg is a little bit behind always. And so when I step back and down, when I'm coming up, if you go a little bit slower, really focus and picture those muscles really being used, focus on our mind to muscle connection, having that proper intent, keeping that core tight, exhale as we drive through the ground. Three, two, one. All right. Back on the ground, we got toe touches, single leg lowering. And then we got one more round to go. And then we're gonna cool down. Three, two, one. So again, core down and together, even pushing that belly button into the ground. Exhale, just use our core. I know as our core gets tired, it's really easy to start using our head, neck, and shoulders. So that's why I really just want us to focus this whole time, engage, come up. You can even start exhaling as you engage, right? Like we're breathing through a straw, our ribs are coming down and together. So you can just start that exhale, get it all settled, and then come up. Three, two, one. All right, last up, single leg lowering. And exhaling as we zip that core up. Getting ready here. Three, two, one. So legs in the air. Again, slight bend of the knee is okay to keep those quads loose. Coming down. Exhale, come back up. Push that belly button into the ground. Bring that core together. Great job. Really focus on the intent. So really focus on that core. I, again, we can go nice and slow. We're not trying to hit certain rep count right now. 45 seconds is 45 seconds. And it means more when we go slow and get the most out of it. Otherwise, we're just moving to move. Three, two, one. All right. Two rounds down, one to go. We got our seated overhead presses. We're getting ready on the ground. Three, two, one. Dumbbells slightly out in front. I'm just gonna face this way for this one. For the last round. So our core is engaged, so everything's down and together. You can even pretend that you're bringing your spine towards your belly button, but that way still, even just like if I was standing up, my back is nice and flat. Just using those shoulders, like I said, sitting this way takes our legs out of it. So sometimes I also make us use our legs. Switching it up today. Exhaling on the way up. Three, two, one. All right, done with those for the day. I come up onto our feet, come into the top of our space. Getting ready. Lunges here, three, two, one. So my back drive through that heel. And then um, in terms of other classes coming up today and tomorrow, so we got 
our regular schedule, except we are not doing 4 p.m. classes on Thursdays anymore. Tuesdays have been a little tough too to do. So just keep an eye on SharePoint for those classes. Um, that is gonna be where everything is kept up to date. And then today we have exercise with Exos with Jaden, dance with John. And then tomorrow we have sports performance mindset reset at seven and then 12 p.m. Functional Fitness Friday and breathing three, two, one. And both of those are with me tomorrow. So finishing off the week strong with all of our classes. We're getting ready here. Three, two, one. So be hit with a part, butt to belly button. Our shoulders are pinching that or squeezing the um, egg, cracking the egg, squeeze the orange, drive those elbows up. Again, don't let that paper fall. Keeping our hands outside of the legs. Exhaling as we come up. Right, shoulder blades really weird today, but that's okay. Drive the elbows. Okay, so this one is really great for posture, working all of our back muscles. Three, two, one. All right, we got curtsy lunges and then we got toe touches and single leg lowering. And then we'll be on the ground for our cool down. We can lay it, stay on the ground after that. Three, two, one. Again, back behind diagonal. Moving slow if you need to. And again, really making sure we have a nice distance here. And if we're here, whoops, that's all the back leg. Just keeping that back leg a little bit closer. I don't want to go on that leg on that side because I'm going to slip and fall on the mat. Safety first. As my dad always says, safety is no accident. Spoken like a true firefighter. <laughs> right. Driving through that heel, we're finishing strong with our curtsy lunges, really getting those glutes firing here. Three, two, one. All right, last two movements on the ground, tall touches, single leg lowering. And like I said, we're gonna be on the ground on our backs for our cool down. So you can go ahead and stay there. Three, two, one. So legs. Air, core, engaged, bringing that core down together, exhaling, keeping that belly button on the ground, really focus, moving slow. The intent of this movement is to use our core. So that's what I want us really focusing on. Moving nice and slow. Engage the core. You can always too, if you're you know struggling, if your core is engaged, you can always put your hands here and then come up. Three, two, one. So that will help to just really make sure that you are engaging your core and reminding yourself to do that. So I like to bring my again my core together and down, kind of pushing out a little bit on the stomach. Three, two, one. Single leg lowering. Same thing if you would like hands, you can place them over your stomach, making sure you are using them, pressing that belly button into the ground and exhaling as we come up. Again, slight bend of the knee is, is okay. If that is gonna be really helpful for you to not um, use the hips. Intent, you wanna work the core, focus on the core. Going nice and slow, exhale, coming up. Three, two, one. And that is it for today's circuit. Nice job. Go ahead, grab a sip of water if you need it. Like I said, we're gonna be on the ground for our cool down. So we're gonna be on our backs here. And we're gonna do a little bit of figure four. Really open up our legs and our back here today. So I'm gonna start with my 
left foot on the ground. We're gonna take the right ankle, place it over the left knee. That tension feels good. You can even press down on your knee. That feels good. Go ahead and stay there. If you need a little extra tension. Let's go ahead and interlace those fingers and grab either behind the knee or in front of the shin and pull that knee towards the chest. We're gonna feel this in the back behind our glutes. And that can get pretty tight from sitting, doing squats, doing lunges, cycling a lot. All of that can make all of that really tight. And it can pull on our low back, on our hamstrings, and even on our hip flexors. So this is a great way to kind of just release all of that tension. We're taking nice big deep belly breaths through the nose. And exhaling, sighing away. All the tension we feel in our bodies today. We're gonna, going to go ahead and do one more deep breath. And as we finish that exhale, gently bring that foot back to the ground. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So if your left foot is on the ground, now your right foot's on the ground, crossing that left ankle above the right knee. And that tension feels good. You can press down on the knee. Go ahead and stay there. If you need a little extra tension, go ahead and interlace those fingers either behind the knee or in front of the shin and pull the knee towards the chest. Nice, big, deep inhales in through the nose. Breathing into the belly. It's gonna help us really feel our hips expand, feel the little back expand, really opening things up, breathing into the tension we feel. And then exhaling through the mouth. I want us to just really feel all of our muscles relax, let that body sink further into the ground. Really let the body just calm down, relax. If that exhale is longer than the inhale, it's gonna help us calm our bodies down, relax our mind, help us get a little bit of a reset in before we get back to our, we start working or you back to the work day if you're watching this. Later on, we're gonna go do one more deep breath here. And as we are finishing the exhale, we can bring that foot back to the ground and then feel free to stay laying on your back or you can return to a seated kneeling or a standing position. That is gonna be all the time for today's class. Um, so like I said, we got um, you know, exercise with exos and dance coming up today. And then our same class is tomorrow at seven and 12. And then we do have the office for step challenge gonna be starting here in a few weeks. So that registration did open on Tuesday. So sign up with your office and compete against other offices. And then we have a prize for the team with the most steps. So don't miss out on that, but nice job. Thank you for coming.